I'm Phil Aston here from nowspinning.co.uk. I said I was going to revisit some box sets and um, specifically some that I know are out of circulation now. And this was to help people see inside them, maybe you miss them the first time round and you're searching on Discogs and eBay. And instead of just seeing that front cover and the back cover, we'd like to see more about what's inside. And I've chosen um, the box set for this video is Harvest Festival, which came out in 1999. And this was there was a time when box sets were the same size as a vinyl album i can think of the orman brothers one um which i've covered in a video before and the zeppelin one <clears throat> was also done that way and i think that um there's something very luxurious about a box set that's like this and this size it only had five cds in it um but the quality is absolutely fantastic and so what I want to do in this video is just go through it. So um, if it's not what you're into, then just skip this and look at one of my other videos. But hopefully for those of you into this, um, I really, I really hope you enjoyed. Oh, before I start, I wish Island Records um, had done something like this with their background in prog and rock. Um, but Harvest did, and that's great. So here we go. So here it is, one of the great box sets um, from Lee. I, I guess, is it fair to say the early um, CD era? I'm not sure, but it's from 1999. And as I said earlier, it's when box sets tried to mimic the golden age of vinyl by being the same size of vinyl. I always thought this was a great design. Um, it says here it's a 120 page four color Interesting, four colour five CD musical celebration of the Harvest label covering its output from 1969 to 1979. Um, the people on the front, do you recognise any? Um, I know it's written down somewhere, but we've got Roy Harper, Roy Wood, uh, that's Kevin Ayers there, and on the back you've got, uh, in the middle there you've got Richie Blackmore, Pink Floyd are over here, looks like that's Pete Brown. Uh, Sid Barrett down here and uh, looks like um, and various other people whose names escape me as I talk um, video nerves but you can see this is a substantial um, box so as you open it up you've got the first four CDs the last one is tucked into the back now I'm going to go through this um, for people who might be thinking of buying this on Discogs or eBay and so if it's not of interest then just um, you know you know please view one of my other videos but I want to go through it because I know on eBay people will take a photograph of the front and the back and, and a random picture but I want to try and go through everything so that for those of you still trying to find this or have got it you can see exactly what you're searching for. It's wonderful paper stock. Um, as you're into the first part of the booklet, you've got the list, the track listings for CD one, two, three, four, and five. Five was called Pop Puri because it was a, a kind of a, a compilation of um, some famous tracks and some not so famous tracks. But I just think it's gorgeous, and because it's you know this size it's substantial and it feels like a as if you bought a book on harvest records and it happens to come with cds that's what it's like and as i said earlier can you imagine if island records had decided to follow the same route and i just thought with the amount of compilations they did in the 60s and 70s that they would just jump at this and but they didn't um and as i said earlier this cost me 35 pounds which is an absolute bargain for for this and maybe not for for five cds but for for this as a pack of memorabilia um i don't think it's been beaten really to be honest so you've got interviews with the people behind the label um producers arrangers designers and i think you you can feel like and we've got here you've got the whole you've got the whole of the madcap last by sid barrett you know you can feel the sense of the the golden age of records and record collecting just oozing out of this book really 
um, you know, and this nice touch that they've even got the back cover then as you turn the page. And then we move into Roy Harper. And then Deep Purple and Pink Floyd. Pete Brown. Barclay James Harvest. All these classic Harvest artists. Edgar Broughton. That was the guy on the back cover, wasn't it? Whose name I couldn't remember. Um, third Ear Band. More Purple. Quatermass. That's a great album, isn't it? As you view into Hammond Organ and Prog. It's great, that is. The Floyd again. Michael Chapman. And some of these are, are album covers that you, if you're going for things, you think, oh, well, I know what that looks like now. Uh, Michael Chapman. Metal. Fireball. Kevin Ayres. Pink Floyd. Roy Wood. Bebop Deluxe. Babe Ruth. All these fantastic harvest artists oh isn't that great that's one of my favorite floyd albums that is obscured by clouds uh, climax blues band gal ackerman it's a good album I, uh, I mentioned that in one of my other video reviews soft machine it's a babe ruth bebop again oh and a whole section on bill nelson and bebop deluxe straps Saints, um, Griffin, Focus, Ship of Memories. Interesting they've given that um, pride of place. But it's, it, you know, it's uh, on the uh, Focus box set. I don't want to kind of digress too far, but it's a really good album. They were into Harvest trying to get its head around punk um, with Wire. And the Saints again, Bill Nelson's Red Noise. Um, quadraphonic uh, picture there and then towards the end you've got like the scorpions etc um, and then you've got the SHDW series and Pink Floyd's A Nice Pair Deep Purple in Concert one of the last um, Harvest label ones and then here you've got all this all the releases every single release that came out I bought that as well um, this uh, purple one, which was drawn, um, is actually worth a lot of money now. And then at the very back, you've got the full discography and a picture of every single album sleeve. So for those collectors of Harvest Records, you could mentally tick them off because you wouldn't want to mark this at all. And it even lists all the singles on Harvest. And it ends with Octopus by Sid Barrett. And just tucked to the back of a period ad is the final fifth CD. Harvest Festival, a classic box set from a classic era of box sets. So I hope you enjoyed that. A look through the Harvest Festival box set from 1999. And you can tell, can't you, as I went through it, the, the love and tension and the a kind of enthusiasm that was behind the layout and the, whoever was coordinating that. What a fantastic job they did. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting um, Now Spinning. Thanks to Jeff and Chris um, and all my patrons and supporters, whether it's through Patreon or, or um, PayPal. I appreciate every one of you and thank you for subscribing as well to to youtube and following me on all the social media channels that i'm on thank you very much and i'll see you on the next one thank you